which we welcome in Michigan State Senator John DeMoose. Uh, good to see you, Hello. sir. A lot of troubling things you. in Brian's reporting. How, how did we get to this point? You know, first of all, I'm glad you're right. You guys are the only ones who look like we're covering this. And this is a big story. How we got to this point wasn't necessarily always nefarious. We have got to do things to rebuild manufacturing in America. And bad governmental policies here in Michigan have tra chased our manufacturers out of state. So there is a desire to bring some of this back, but we've got to be smart about it. And so this is through a new economic development program, which, you know, I sometimes support, sometimes don't, depending on the, on the project. But I, this one sort of snuck through. Um, and we really had to take them on in committee recently because they weren't even admitting it was a Chinese company. They were trying to pass it off as an American company. And it, it's just there's this is fraught with challenges here. Is there anything to be done at, at this point or is it all baked in? No, well, let me tell you this. So I, I raised the question a, a couple of weeks ago and uh, because, you know, China has been very overt with their intent about America. Their, their own foreign minister three weeks ago said that he fully expects conflict and confrontation with the United States. And then two weeks ago, we saw him arm in arm with Vladimir Putin. These are not our friends. And one of the things is this is really, those type of things have brought this to the forefront. Yesterday in the Senate, we were about to pass um, a bill for the, it's called the SOAR project. And there's three projects that are going on. I actually support two of the projects. One of them's a Ford plant. One of them's another Michigan company. And the, there was talk they were going to try to loop Goshen in with the Ford plant and this other plant. Oh, into I, I, I got to stop you because I only got a couple minutes. Uh, and I want to bring yeah. in uh, Orman Hook, who's a resident who's fighting this. Uh, what is the power behind behind Goshen? I can just imagine what the lobbyists are trying to, to give you and how they're trying to twist your arms. How do these guys have so much power? The power is... Uh, Basically, behind the scenes, uh, our opponents, the governor, et cetera, has worked behind the scenes setting this all up. It was sprung on the, the local population about last September. Uh, a few people behind the scenes know everything that's going on, but the people don't, and that's what really has made everyone angry. Yeah, Senator DeMuse, I'm, I'm just cannot imagine the kind of pressure you're under and the arm twisting that you're under by the by the lobbyists working for goshen they've got deep pockets tell me about it well we've been strong on this so they know not to talk to me about it and the fact of the matter is it was supposed to come up for a vote yesterday and we got it off the table for yesterday i don't know if it's dead yet um we even have been able to persuade some democrats uh that there's real challenges with this and i think they they don't have the votes to pass this so i think the arm twisting is going to come from our governor to some of these democratic senators and if she can promise them what they what they need it may pass but i have a good feeling we might have this this thing stopped and it's been a team effort with the, the folks back in Big Rapids and people in Lansing. Yeah, um, Mr. Hook, I have to apologize that we have to run. As the, as the senator pointed out, though, uh, there are more votes to come and we're going to have you back to talk about them uh, ahead of that. Uh, we were the only Mike flag uh, on that lectern. News Nation is going to stay on this story and, and watch the fight uh, that you all are leading uh, against this Chinese company. Thank you, gentlemen, very much. We appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.